Having looked at how to multiply two three-digit numbers together in session 8, here we're going to extend the vertically and crosswise pattern to multiplying numbers together where they have four digits each. And uh, here is an example, uh, 2,300 and... 2,134, sorry, uh, 3, uh, 2, 5, 3. I'll keep the digits fairly small at this stage. So you can see the steps here, and once you get the hang of this pattern, you can apply it to numbers of any size and get the answer in one line of working. It does require some mental mathematics, of course. So let's start. Uh, four threes are 12. I'll put that over here, 12. Now I'm going to put a dot here just to remember where I'm up to in the, in the, uh, in the pattern. And my next dot will be here. We're going to have uh, three threes are nine and four fives are twenty. So that makes twenty-nine when added together. Add in the carry one and it's thirty. Place the dot here and I'm at step number three. Once three is three, fifteen, and add those two makes eighteen. Add eight is twenty-six and add three is twenty-nine. Dot here, now the big pattern. Uh, the big step is in the middle here where we're multiplying all the digits together and we get two threes are six, once five is five, add makes eleven, three twos are six, add makes seventeen, four threes are twelve, add makes twenty-nine, add in the two and we've got thirty-one. Now notice it doesn't really matter where we put the digits um, in, the, in the answer line, I have not put, placed this units digit in the in a units column and uh, the Wadic Mathematics system does this quite frequently it frees up the idea that you have to place the the, the answer digits in the same columns uh, as in, in the numbers to be multiplied. Now the fifth step, I'll put the dot here, we've got 2, 5 to 10, add 2 is 12, add 9 is 21, add 3 is 24. We place the dot here 4, add 3 makes 7, add in the carry 2 makes 9. And the last step, 2, 3 is the 6. And that's the answer. If you're multiplying uh, numbers together where they're not the same number of digits in either number, you can always place a, a, a 0 uh, as a placeholder if you like. So for example, if you want to multiply uh, 231 by 56, we could think of a zero here, we could, you could write it in if you like, and then just apply the pattern again for three digits. One six is six, we've got 12 add five is 17, 18 add 10 is 28, add zero is 28, add one is 29, three fives are 15, add zero, add two makes 17, three noughts are naught, add one is one. Now, the, the next step is um, a, little, a little trick to use where the digits are, are, are big. And we can use Winkelum digits, which was to, they were described in the previous sessions, um, to make the, the calculation a little bit easier. And I'll just give a small demonstration of this. Let's say you have 29 times 58, and we can turn these into... Uh, lower digits by using Winkelum numbers because 29 is 30 Winky 1 and 58 is 60 Winky 2. It does require, of course, well, more than one line of working. So we've got minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2. And then we have uh, mi it, minus 6. Add minus 6 makes minus 12. So we can write that as a Winky 2 with a Winky 1 to carry. And three sixes are 18. Add winky one makes 17. And, th and then you have to de-winkulate. So uh, we would reduce the digit by this digit by one and then subtract that from 10. And you could think of this, if you like, as 700 take away 20. Well, it's six, 680. So one, six, eight, two is the answer.